So we just ended up getting the Black Ops 6 gameplay leak for the multiplayer. The entirety of the multiplayer is leaking out, okay? I'm seeing Sekas live stream the gameplay right now. Bruh. Sekas are playing the game right now, and I will talk about how you can play the game early as well. Yes, yeah, Sekas are doing it. Sekas are dropping reviews of it. And you're not gonna believe it. People are saying that game sucks. Game sucks. I mean, you probably saw that coming. Like the video if you just want a good game, man. Dislike the video if you want the probably. I want to know where you guys at, okay? Like the video if you just want a good game. Dislike if you want those $20, $30, $100 microtransactions. I want to know where you at. But see, the situation really got out of hands because people are saying game sucks. It's copy and paste. Announcer sucks. Graphic sucks as well. And I got a video that I want to share with you as well. Um, and, and videos are getting taken down. Absolutely. And the amount of coping that I've seen online, mwah, I absolutely love it. I love for this, man. This, the Call of Duty drama, I mean, damn, I missed that Call of Duty drama, guys. But roll it. Long story short of it is this. I mean, I, I'm going to break down all the perks. By the way, I know all the perks. I know all the kill streaks. I know all the guns. I know everything and anything about the multiplayer. Yeah, there, everything has been shown. I've seen it all. I've played it. I know every single little thing about the Call of Duty Black Ops 6 multiplayer. But just to get it out of the way right from the beginning, Black Ops 6 and Call of Duty after 17 years of playing it at this point, there's nothing new under the sun. I'm not there saying it's bad because it's not. It's just Call of Duty, right? It's just more of the same is the point I'm trying to get to is the theme of this video. There's no innovation. There's no creativity. There's nothing new. The Omni movement is just gimmicky. All the perks are the same. The, all the kill streaks are the same in the past. The movement, like I said, the Omni movement, which is supposed to be something different and new, like it's like Dolph. Okay, uh, you honest, honest, or you're playing us a game, bro. Dolphin diving from Black Ops 1, it's gimmicky. It doesn't really Wait actually add to the experience or make anything different or change the way you're going to play the game. You're never really going to probably use it except just to mess around, but it doesn't actually provide any advantage to using it. More actually disadvantages. Just everything about this game is the same as previous games. There's nothing that I can tell you as far as like any question you may have is like, well, is there is there ninja? Yes, there's ninja. There's quiet footsteps. Is there ghost? Yes, there's ghost. Just like in the past, but you have to move to use it for it to work, which is fine. Like you can't just sit and camp with ghosts. You have to be in motion. Okay. Is there UAVs? Yes. Is there, you know, perk greeds like Call of Duty Black Ops series always had like, you know, perk I wonder if, uh, what, what kind of UAV, what kind of UAV we're talking about, Ghost of it? It's the three greed perks, like where you have, you know, greed or assault or whatever. Basically, everything that has been in previous Call of Duties in the Treyarch series is in this game, and there's nothing different. Even the music is more or less the same. Which may some of you may be really hyped about. Myself, after like I said, I, you know, at the beginning of this video, when I start talking more review, 17 years I've been playing Call of Duty, Dang. and it is... Yo, what were these suckers doing? Man, four years, bro. Yeah, by the time, if you did not know, by the time Black Ops 6 comes out, it's gonna be four years in development! <laughs> what, what, what were these suckers doing for that long? Were they just doing helicopters with their woolies? Now, to be fair though, like, this is early leak, right? It's early leak, uh, but by the, I mean, come on now, like, they have been developing the game for three years, uh, three plus years at this time. So, I mean, damn, right? Like, damn, homie, we should have got, like, I mean, the leaks should have looked better than <laughs> better at this point but still like i'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt maybe it's like a whole lot of placeholder stuff because when he says the music is the same i feel like that's placeholder so if that is really true listen man this might me be, me be coping okay i'm trying to be realistic here but maybe this is copium maybe this is uh, us coping but if this is really true then uh probably other stuff is also placeholder maybe Parks? Nah, man. I cannot. Nah, at this point in time, the beta, they're gonna reveal the game in a month from now, right? They already revealed the gameplay and all that, but in a month's time, they're gonna reveal more gameplay, right? So, yeah, come on now, man. Like, if the perks are the same, like, yeah, it'll be what it be. But, but at this, but at this point, right, like, perks are gonna be the same. Like, we're talking 17 plus years, bro. Like, yeah, like, what are they gonna add, right? Like, friendly UAV online detecting uh, detecting perk or something like that right Bruh. like come on yeah what else they're gonna make that's new right friendly UAV online detecting perk I don't know bro like at this point TBA is you know the same thing Wait, no innovation so I'm kind of just getting bored so if I were just to give you like a grade of the black ops 6 multiplayer I'm just been playing bots I could say that it is a 7 out of 10 I guess I mean if this game was released 
I don't know, 10 years ago, I guess it would be a really good game because it would actually be something new and, you know, it would be, I could call it Duty just like the past. But like I said, if it's, if it's, if it's going to be the same game every year, then it, it slowly starts to diminish its, you know, ex quality and excitement. But I don't really have anything bad to say about it. I, the one thing that's annoying is when you're running, it really, and you're doing all this all the time. You're, yeah. blah, 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 blah. I don't like the yeah, shaking yeah. camera. I hope they can slow that down a bit. I just gets annoying. Uh, when you do shoot, there doesn't seem to be a lot of recoil. Another thing too, okay. they, they put the engine, it's the same engine, right? Like before, the reason why as well, let me put this out here, the reason why the game feels the same as all the previous Call of Duty is because they continue to use the same engine from year to year. In 2019, they went to that new kind of engine, which is the same engine, but it's heavily modified. And they've stuck with it now from Marvel 3 to this. So the graphics may look different, but it's going to feel exactly the same. Like back in the day, each Call of Duty development studio gave a different feel because they didn't quite use the same, um, um, I guess, engine or they used they changed the parameters around it. So each game had a unique feel. This game feels exactly the same as Marvel 3, but how, you know what? How can I explain it? Let me put it this way, real simply. It's Cold War and Modern Warfare 3. It's like Cold War Part 2. That's really what it is. It's Cold War. It really is. It's very similar to Cold War. Like, the graphics suck because it's not like actual finished product, so it doesn't look as good as you expected. But it plays like Cold War and Modern Warfare 3. It has the same streaks, the same perks, Damn. the same guns, Damn. the same attachments, everything, right? Holy. It's just Call of Duty. I'm not really hyped about it would be my final saying. I guess just like... That, that's what I said after seeing the gameplay. Like, the, the, the official gameplay does look good, right? The reveal was good. That's what I said before because, yeah, that's uh, what I truly believe. It does look good, but it's not impressive, right? It did not hit me in the G-spot. I believe, like, the initial rating that I give... seven. Yeah, you're, you're saying that this sucks, that sucks, but you're still giving the game 7 out of 10. Like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, seven out of ten is a very good game, bro. Like, I don't get it. Like, uh, yeah, every it's like gaming community is always like this. Yeah, game sucks, bro. Seven out of ten. Bruh. Seven out of ten. Game sucks, but seven out of ten. Seven out of ten is a very good rating, bro. Five out of ten. That means the game is neither good, neither bad. It's mid. It's average, right? That's what five and five out of ten stands for. And I feel like that based off of what we've seen, you can give this game either like 4 out of 10 or 5 out of 10. But I first saw the reveal, I gave it 6 out of 10. I was like, hey, it's actually pretty nice. But I'm not impressed though. Like if I was impressed, then it would be like more like 8, 9, something like that, right? Because like if you give a game 10 out of 10, you're saying that there's nothing wrong with the game. Everything is good. There's no zero room of improvement. And there are very, subjectively, you can say 10 out of 10, right? But objectively, objectively, right? Like, the, the game is not 7 out of 10 based off of what we're seeing right now. But if this is a whole lot of placeholder, then yeah, maybe by the time game comes out, it's going to be way better than that. And I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I care for zombies. Most importantly, I hope zombies is good, man. I, I, I hope zombies is at least like 7 or 10, 7 or 8, bro. 7 or 8 right now, man. Like, come on, man. Like, that's what I want, like, bro. I mean, I bought it already pre-ordered. Like, I'm not going to sit like, I'm not buying this game. That's another thing, too, actually, I want to touch on before I end this video. It's funny how people think they're on some kind of, like, moral crusade because they're not going to buy black ops 6 like like it's going to matter like anyone cares any youtuber out here i'm, I'm going to stand against activision like bro i've been doing that for 17 years making critical videos and impressions on social media millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of views of me being critical about call of duty plus all the other youtubers with all their millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of views being critical hundreds and hundreds of millions of views combined for everybody and it didn't do anything, hasn't changed anything, it doesn't make a difference. So if you think you're on some moral crusade, like, it's for yourself, right? If you want to buy it, that's fine, but don't think you're bigger than it is. Like, I'm not buying uh, You gotta vote with your wallets. That, that's, that's, uh, I mean, he right, though. He right, though, but you, uh, but if you want change, you need to, yo, come on, like, put, put your, put your, put the, 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 the buttons on, man. Like, bruh. damn, homie, like, you're that, the cleavage kind of big, bruh. Uh, but, but yeah, you need to vote with your wallets. Uh, last year, I did not buy Call of Duty, okay? <gasps> I didn't buy because yeah, like I don't care for it. This year, I, I I'm planning to buy, but but if the game turns out like it's just completely trash, that's when I'm just gonna go ahead uh, and not buy. I have not pre-ordered yet or anything like that. But uh, but yeah, if the game is completely trash, then I'm gonna skip this year as well. Absolutely, I did it last year. I broke the cycle. Buy this game, I'm gonna stand. You're not, no one gives a shit, buddy. No one cares. And, and, and truly, nobody gives a F. If, you, somebody, if you're somebody that's watching this video, if you like it, go for it. If you don't like it, don't go for it. I guess simple as that, simple as that. Not gonna make a difference. And on top of that, and on top of that, get some perspective. It's a video game, all right? It's a video game. Who cares? It's a video game. First of all, no one cares. You're not gonna make a difference. You're not doing something morally great. You're just not buying a video game. That's your choice, that's cool, don't support it. Rock out, buddy, with your cock out. Bro, bro. <laughs> pump the brakes, bro. Pump the brakes, man. What? Rock out with what? Rock out with my BBC out or something like that? God damn, bro. Like.
Nah, nah, that's that's kind of gay, bro. Nah, but nah, honestly, bro, you, at least give us hope. At least give us hope that things gonna get better. At least like tell us like, hey, you know, boycotting the game will uh, bring change. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, thank you for subscribing. Shout out to you, gang, gang, homie, gang, 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 gang. gang. I guess Black Ops 7 will save us at this point, but give us hope, brother. Give us hope. Damn, man. Like, I don't like that doom and gloom right now. Yeah, I bought it. I already pre-ordered it because I'm a Call of Duty YouTuber and social media influencer. <laughs> I hate saying that. It sounds so douchey. I make money and I enjoy uh, making videos and people like myself, I will be critical of it. I'll tell you the honest review. I'll let you know how, you, how it plays, what it's like. and. Is it over, guys? Is it over? Is it over? <laughs> because, like, for for uh, for the homie, close of it, to say, like, Call of Duty sucks all those years, to then be like, oh, man, it's the best thing ever. It's amazing, guys. It's amazing. Yeah, sarcasm as well. Of course, I get that part. But, you know, it's close to a bipolar. There's a reason why Sick is calling close to a bipolar. I love him, though. I love him, though. But, like, but, but you, 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 you know what I mean, right? Like, so going from hating the game, then to loving the game, and now being realistic about it. Damn, homie. Damn. You know, maybe you will decide where you want to waste your money on it or not. I'm going to make my money back on this video alone, or the last couple of videos alone, that pay for the game anyway. So for me, this is like, you know, business, and that doesn't cost me anything, and I'm a, I'm a uh, great content creator. So... You know, we're not the same, it's just our average dude, and I'm gonna speak for the average dude and let you know whether it's worth your time or money to waste. Also, it's on Game Pass, so it's free, more or less. You can just pay a dollar, by the way, you can pay a dollar for the first month of Game Pass, and then you don't have to- uh, Pump the brakes, so somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but that used to be a thing. Uh, I believe now it's not, you cannot, like, no longer do that. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, if you already got Game Pass, then yeah, I mean, crap. It's, you know, in that aspect, it's gonna be free. If you already have just it. Just cancel it. You know what I'm saying? You can just cancel it. Just wrap it all up, man. It's mid. It's the same as usual. There's nothing great, nothing creative. Plays the same. Uh, really kind of ridiculous that all the skins and everything that anyone bought, all the stuff they unlocked. Forget about buying stuff. All the stuff you unlocked, it doesn't carry over to this game. Yeah. It's not our money scam. Skill-based matchmaking and all that's going to be there. So another day, another year, another, another Call of Duty that is the same. Another bold squash. And he's saying that, well, the, the friendly UAV online bundle is not going to carry over from Modern Warfare 2022. Guys, check out this video on the screen. We recently had massive leaks for GTA 6 as well. Yeah, trailer 2 leaks are everywhere right now. We also had that Rockstar game dev talking about it. We had a tease for GTA 6 online as well. Check out this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.